Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Another YouTube video for you. And today I'm going to follow on from my video about how quiet it is at my QTH here in town when there's no power. I shot a short little video showing how quiet HF is when nobody's got any power and how noisy it is when the power comes back. And I thought, well, I should try and investigate how much of that noise is coming from my own house. I know my Ethernet network creates bells and whistles on 20 meters and a bit higher. Um, I can't live without that. But I thought I would kill the power to the whole house and just see what happens. And I did notice there was a dramatic decrease in the noise from generated in my house. I went to the switchboard, switched the circuit breaker for the house off, and we... Um, it was very, very quiet. So I knew there was things in the house causing trouble. And apart from the uh, Ethernet network, I know that, that noise that makes. But there was a noise that I was blaming on my neighbor's plasma TVs and other things. And so I ran around the house with um, the ICR10, which is just a nice little ICOM receiver, um, sideband mode. And um, I came back to the shack and I found a bad culprit in this that's a switch mode plug pack power supply a wall wart or as i like to call these little things a wall pimple and this is a five volt power supply which runs my all-star node this is a beagle bone black and a uri and um, the radio plugs in here and the radio is not plugged in at the moment but that's um that's not needed for this demonstration and it runs off to an ethernet network and um i was just running this off ac and um the noise this generates especially on 40 meters, is absolutely atrocious. I mean, we can turn up the radio here, um, make sure we're tuned. We got about an S3, S4 maybe noise peaking. Yeah, that's not too bad. I can live with that type of stuff. Watch what happens when I plug this in. Look at that. S7 and above. This thing's uh, powering up. You can see the lights inside. And that is a bit of a challenge, listening through that. You can certainly hear the like electrical hash noise. And um, if I bring the ICR10 close to this, you can certainly see it and hear it. I've tried um, running the wires through ferrites, and it really doesn't make much of a difference. And if I unplug it, it's dramatic. Quiet. Back to an S3, which is better than I've been experiencing. My, my neighbours have plasma TVs. Or at least one of them has a plasma TV, and I know when it gets turned on at night. And it's a very similar effect to that. And we've plugged it in. So this is something I can, I can do. I can do something about this. I, this is not a necessary... Um, device my ethernet network i know it makes noise but i i need it i need to have that thing running um, i have improved it by running cat 6 cables i had cat 5 not cat 5e cat 5 cables from the late 90s installed in this house and uh, they've been since re been replaced with cat 6 a tighter twist and it makes it a lot better on hf but um what i'm going to be doing with this i'm going to be uh Smashing this and throwing this in the bin. This is no good. I don't want one of these around me anywhere. Not with that noise it generates. Um, there's a price that you pay for energy efficiency, and that is most definitely poorly designed devices like this causing RF noise, like you see here. I'll plug it in one more time. Here we go. Yeah, that's not good at all. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I did a test. I have a um, a small 12-volt uh, or 24-volt to 5-volt DC regulator built up for my portable D-Star hotspot. And I experimented, and I thought, well, maybe maybe this is causing trouble. That's the 5 volts coming from that switch mode device. Got lights on. No increase in the noise. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is going to go in the bin. I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to smash it, put it in the bin. Never going to use that again. 
And I'm going to build up another one of these little DC to DC converters using a co-cell um, switch mode module. And I've got extra filtering in that. And they're a really well-designed um, device. They make almost no RF noise I can discern at all. And uh, that's quite happily working. And that will then also allow me to run this on DC instead of having it on AC as well. I'm trying to reduce my reliance on AC power at my, in my shack so I can reduce my energy bill. So um, I'll be putting in, I've got solar panels and a, a nice RF quiet um, solar regulator I found, um, but going by other amateur radio guys' experiences. So uh, yeah, I, I recommend running around your house with something like this, or even one of those little AM FM sets that have got shortwave in them, or even just a broadcast AM set, and run around and listen to your electronic devices. See how much noise they're generating, and whether that's impacting on your HF performance, your HF receive performance. And if it's something you can do without, throw it away. Get something different, or live without it. Um, I can, I'm glad I can do something about this. I can, I can get rid of that, that's not a problem. This is running quite happily on DC using that little DC to DC converter. I'm happy with that. This is absolutely terrible. Back to this. Here we go again, have a demonstration. That's not good. So, I encourage you to go out, find those things that make noise and get rid of them. Make your own house clean and then go outwards and uh, approach your neighbors and see if they're going to get rid of that plasma TV for you. Okay, this is Michael, VK5ZEA, 7-3 for now.